artist, it's Miss Terry here. Soon you will start having art class with me every week. Your teacher will let you know what time. Before we begin those classes, I'd like for you to make something, an artist's toolbox. In it, you will collect materials and objects that you have at home. And something that you think an artist, meaning you, will be used, you will use during our art time. Um, this will be your special box for you to keep all your art supplies in it for our class. So, you don't have to go out and buy anything, but if you have something like this, this would be a great place to keep your art supplies. Um, I'm just going to use this box that I have here around the house, and I'm actually going to just take the box and I'm going to fold in the flaps so I have this nice space to keep all my art supplies so every time I have art class, I know where my art materials are and my art supplies are. You could decorate this box later if you'd like, but for now I'm just going to leave it here. And again, this should be things that you have in your house. So if you have crayons, crayons would be a great art material to have. And if you need to share these with your brothers or sisters or other children at home, you might just take some of the colors that you think you might want and put them in a bag and put them in your box. What else do I have? I have some colored pencils. If you have some colored pencils, those would be great for your art box. Paper. If you have printer paper at home, printer paper, we can always draw on printer paper. And even some recycled paper where you can draw on the back. Ask an adult in the house to see if they have any paper that they're not using anymore that you can use to do work on drawings on with. Even recycled paper, paper that's in the junk mail. These might have pictures of things that you might want to cut out for an art project. An old magazine too. Something else that has lots of pictures that we can cut up and reuse for your art. But again, ask a grown up first. Um, I even found this old map. This might be a map that you might have around that would be awesome. I love maps and maps make great art pieces. What else do we have? You know, if you have markers, of course you want markers. Um, it doesn't have to be a full set, but anything that you can use to color with is, would be helpful in your art kit, or art box. Um, artwork that you're not using anymore. Again, this could be recycled into some fabulous art piece. Um, pencils, everyone should have pencils. You will definitely need pencils and you all should have these. Um, if not, we'll, we'll get some for you somehow. Um, pen, pen's also helpful. Um, any kinds of papers or cards, like these old index cards. This paper, scraps of paper, recycled paper. Um, if you have glue, you don't need a glue stick and you don't need to go out and buy one, but if you have a glue bottle, even an old glue bottle that still works, perfectly fine to use for, for your art toolkit. And then glue also too, if you take care of your glue bottles and make sure they're closed every time you use, after you use them, um, they'll last for a really long time. Um, things to trace like circles, anything that you can use that you can use to trace, great for your toolbox. You know, I, I didn't have a ruler, but I had some of these. You can use these to draw shapes and to, to um, draw straight lines, even something like this, an old Office Depot card that I don't use. I can use this as a great straight edge if you want to use that to draw lines. Um, yarn or string, paper clip, scissors. If you have scissors, that would be great to keep in your art box. An eraser, if you have one. Um, an old paintbrush, you never know. You could use this for either if you have some watercolors or if you have some other kind of paint. And sometimes you can even make paint out of things that you have at home. Great thing to keep. And here's some tape. Um, I found some Play-Doh, and this Play-Doh is not this color. You can see this Play-Doh got mixed in with some other colors. Um, Play-Doh, if you have some. All right, so I think that's all I have. Um, be creative. Find some materials that you think would be wonderful to make art with. Um, and then when you have art with me, bring your box, and we're going to talk about which material or 
tool or supply or whatever it is is your favorite.